Look who it is. I know your name. I feel like this was rumored for a while. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditory, the la la la. It is a good life we lead. I mean, the second game is. Your father was an assassin. Probably still a lot of people's favorites, but. Impressive. All that remains is the deed. This life, it chose me. You flew, Ezio! You flew! You are the leader now. Unite the assassins. I don't know if it has an audience. I mean, I know people love the Ezio games, like, but the gameplay, I just don't think it can hold up. I intend to write a book about you one day. These Ezio these games, um, the Assassin's Creed Welcome games, because they were like yearly things, because they came out Fight yearly, the gameplay just like, you know, year by year, the ones before kind of just felt stale. Well, I mean, the best, the best thing I just noticed about that is, let's, hold on, pause for a second. The best thing about this whole collection You'll notice this. Three games in DLC star enchanted for new generation platforms. Does not include multiplayer modes or multiplayer DLC. And some people I know there's probably some people out there that are literally literally like Oh man, the deals the I need the multiplayer mode. Why aren't they why can't they remake the multiplayer mode like they do for some of these fucking things? But um if you care about d fucking trophies, you know that the multiplayer modes in these Assassin's Creed games were like the bane of existence. I'll spend like 20, 30 hours collecting all these fucking feathers and then spend 100 hours on a real crappy put together multiplayer mode that no one really plays uh, or they'll play it for like a week or two and then like the servers are dead because everyone's got all the trophies or like they're done with it. And there's like 10 trophies for that shit. Fuck out of here. Alright. Ezio Collection has Assassin's Creed 2 which a lot of people still hail as the best Ezio game, the uh, Assassin's Creed game there was. Uh, I would disagree. I'd, it's top three, but I think that the, some of the more recent ones are way better. Some of the gameplay point. The reason that everyone likes the this the Ezio trilogy is because Ezio. Um, I played two. I played Brotherhood. Didn't like it that much. I never got around to Revelations because I took a dive off the franchise. Um, around Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed Revelations. I'm pretty sure... I'm 99.9% .9 unless there's one I can't remember. Those are the two games I never actually played. So, I mean... and Maybe... Maybe in like six months' time, I see this for like $20 somewhere and I'm like, you know what? I've got nothing to play at the moment. I'm going to rush through Assassin's Creed Revelations. I'm going to finally close up that Ezio trilogy. But other than that... Most people have played these games. Most people that are Assassin's Creed fans have played these games. Um, people that aren't, I doubt are going to want to go play these ones. Um, maybe. I don't know. I just don't know. I know there's going to be some people out there really excited for this. The Assassin's Creed Ezio trilogy coming November. But there's so many new games to play and I don't think these games are good enough to warrant going back and playing. I really don't. I'm sorry. As I know Assassin's Creed 2 is there as a milestone of like PS3 games and it, it is, but it's, it's, I just, I don't think this was necessary at all. I'm sorry. Really, really sorry.